Ah, ça, ça. Mike's Daily Podcast. Go away, go away, stupid iTunes wanting to update thing. I hate you, Apple, and all that you represent. Mike's Daily Podcast. Effa, 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 episode 1826, 1826. I'm Mike Matthews, and this is a show that brings you lots of political news. No, that's a lie. I hate political news. It's the same trite stuff that gets played over and over again. And I don't give a fluff about it. So, thus, this show today where... Mike's Daily Podcast. Covers some things that I think are fascinating type stuff things. That Mike's you might find Daily interesting as well. Podcast. We'll see. I don't know. It's a crapshoot. Yeah! Ooh, I don't want to be anywhere near a crapshoot. Hey, Mike Matthews here. You know what? I had was I was thinking about stuff today. I was doing my little stinking thinking thing. And for one thing, I think the last show went a little heavy on the Huey Lewis, and I apologize. But you live and you learn, right? So, I guess what I'm saying is that I had a couple situations this week already where I went, oh my gosh, by the skin of my teeth. Thank God Oh That kind of thing Is what I said Because Something happened It could have been worse And it turned out to be okay And that just goes to show You gotta remember those times When the bad times happened that, that All the good times where you You made it by the skin of your teeth Those are the good times And you should remember them and be thankful and that's the name of a Kelly Clarkson album called Thankful. Why? Why do I know this? Because I'm looking at it right now. Because apparently I have a Kelly Clarkson library. And let's see. Yes. Oh, I have two copies of Breakaway. How did that happen? Oh, now it's time for the... And here's today's podcast picture. Let's see. The only really big song off of Kelly Clarkson's Thankful was Miss Independent. Miss it a did. Miss in man am. Miss it a boo. And I, I heard Christina Aguilera wrote that. I, I'm not going to confirm that or deny it or whatever. Why did you be the god about ten? Why did you be the bad about ten? Ten, 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 ten. Catchy little tune from, and it also had a moment like this. Wait, that's on here, isn't it? Basil, I know. Not the best song she ever did. A moment like this. But another song on this album, Thankful, by Kelly Clarkson, that I enjoyed was... Have you ever been low? Have you ever been so low? No? Doesn't ring a bell? Okay. And then there was Breakaway. For some reason, I have two copies of Breakaway, which is probably her best freaking album. It had four hit singles off of it. Uh, I've been around da, 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 da. That's uh, Avril Lavigne I know she wrote that But Make a wish set up, And break away And then since you've been gone Actually look at this Like the first four songs were hits I know that for sure Behind these hazel eyes And I have hazel eyes So I can relate And because of you, I don't trust anybody, and I'm so afraid of things. Oh, and walk away. To walk away. Dun, 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 dun. That's all I remember, that walk away song. To walk away. All right, Kelly Clarkson, there you go. What was. And then she had a lot of hit songs recently, too. Like the. What was that one? Uh, heart Something Heart I'm putting my Kelly Clarkson away And what was the other one uh, Cause I'm already gone I'm already gone That one Okay Okay Yes I'm forgetting a bunch of other Kelly Clarkson ones too Does she do the what? Oh oh yeah The one about I uh Yeah Mr. Uh, mm, can't think of it now. 
<laughs> I know. I've heard it all the freaking time. Mr. Anyway, I got a little confused because it's Cafe Anyway. And we say this here at Cafe Anyway. And we also look at things like how we are lucky in life and we make it by the skin of our teeth. And sometimes we fake it till we can make it. And sometimes we go, wow. You know, I have always, it's interesting because I do this podcast where I talk to you and we discuss things. And you can call me at 336MM daily and tell me what you think. 336MM daily. And I, I know. I know that what I am saying to you is that, well, when I was younger, I would do sort of what I'm doing now, where I'd kind of just chit chat. Now, I didn't do this on the radio because at the time I was on music radio and they only gave you five seconds to talk. Five seconds to say everything you had to say. Five seconds. You're done. Wrap it up. Who's Kippy Brannon? Who is Kippy Brannon? That's my question to you. 336MM Daily. I will answer that question. And if you've not called by the time I've given you the answer, then you lose. Okay. What ended up happening was I was uh, I, I would do I would do really quick things. Sometimes I throw a little bit of my mic philosophy at the at the listener, but for the most part, it was Matt Michaels, and it was oh, let's do the top eight at eight. Let's do the new country preview. Let's do the Santa Fe Cafe. Let's get it done. Let's do this. Oh, here's that same stupid Toby Keith song again. Red, white, and blue. I'm a goat. And then I said to myself one day As I was let go by Cumulus Because they decided to let people go They were just letting people go left and right And the station that they let me go from Went eventually completely jockless Jock- No jocularity there As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike Staley podcast On the podcast Drove Alley 10. And there's lots of pop a Jocularity on this show there might even be a jabberwockularity in this show. All I know is that I met my girlfriend a year ago, just about, on April the 5th. Yes. That's also my ex-wife's firstborn's birthday is April the 5th. She had that uh, young, wonderful child with her second husband. Not with me. And what was I going with all of this jocularity and whatnot? Okay, uh, yeah. So basically, that was what I did back in the day. I would do these quick little things where I would intro songs. But deep down inside, I wanted to do more. I wanted to podcast. And because I was unceremoniously, God, I can't get to the CD when I'm all the way outside. And I have to kind of stick my head through the window of Cafe Anyway. Where we also say, oh, Kippy Brannon, that's who it, okay. Kippy Brannon had a kind of a quasi hit song with Daddy's Little Girl. And oh my God. Okay. Hopefully, my lovely lady friend is not listening to the show at this point. But I think, I think my, from, from my boss who cannot confirm nor de- Confirm or deny or verify or whatever the story Because sadly he has passed away He passed away about a year ago But I remember him saying this over and over again to me He said I think Kippy Brandon's into you And I'm like well I think she's married And he's like well Kippy Brandon So that was her song Daddy's Girl And then she really didn't have any other songs Let's see Country Girl, Country Singer Yeah, none of these were hits I think she was from Canada There were a lot of Canadian country artists at the time Hmm At any rate What I realized though Is that deep down I have always wanted to do This sort of thing That I'm doing with you right now And yes There had to be There was many, many years Oh, I would say more than 30 years Where I had to not talk But I still had fun And 
I still had a good time. And, you know, sometimes you have to do something that you enjoy now, right now, because it's unfortunately, I mean, well, it is fortunately, luckily, you get to do something you want to do right now. But maybe it's not the thing that you really, really, really want to do. But you just wait, because there will come a day when you get to do the thing you really, really want to do. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But one of the things I enjoy doing, I enjoy this part-time job that I do sometimes. However, the thing that has not changed about this part-time job, and I've talked often about it, is the Monday blame game. And I got Monday blame gamed again. And that's just now that I do some managing on my own for a different company I work for. I, I look so, I look down over my nose at that. It can be done a better way. You've got to, before you reprimand me, you best know that you've thought out your, your, your complaint. Basically, I got blame game for something that's not my fault. They got, I got blame game because somebody hadn't been trained game. And because that person wasn't trained, I got blamed. And the rain falls mainly in Spain on the plane. So that's bat 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 Have you ever been low? Have you ever been so low? That song just I loved it. It was the Kelly Clarkson song that wasn't quite the big hit song. But yet there it is. It exists. C'est l'exist. Was that even French? I don't know. Look who's here. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How you doing? Ain't a disgruntled fiddle player tell you what? What? You got a little bit of French in this show. You got a little bit of a retrospective history of music and radio and how you got let go. In Alabama. Yeah, that was sad. Remember when y'all got yelled at because you tried to do a voice on the air like you're doing right now? Yeah. I was trying to do one of my character voices on the radio station I worked for in Alabama. And they got so mad at me. Idiots. But that's not why they let me go. They let me go because they're cheap. And now, and now this sh- station there is joculous. With no jocularity or joculous. It's no local jocks anyway. Apparently there was an April Fool's Day joke done by one of the local Bay Area radio stations where they said that, hey, we're no longer going to have our local morning show. We're going to have Steve Harvey instead. And all the fans went, oh, what an uproar. And ain't that an ego boost to the morning show that's currently at this radio station? They must have been, hell yeah, you can't replace us with Steve Harvey. Mr. Syndicated, Mr. All Over the Frickin' Country. Yeah, but what does he know about the Bay Area? Oh, he's got relatives here, possibly. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Let's let's get let's keep let's keep it. I say keep it local. That's the rule in radio. It may not be the rule in podcasting. And unfortunately, for a while in radio, it looked like that rule was gone. And it looked like, the, and apparently, the station that I worked for, where I was unceremoniously set adrift back in the Alabama days, that station didn't care about being local either. Because it got all the local people out. At any rate, Kippy Brandon. At any rate, do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Try to do what you enjoy doing Is what I'm saying You will be known Let's just put it this way When all is said and done When you're gone You will be known For what gave you joy in this life Not only did you enjoy doing what you did And it brought you joy But by bringing joy to yourself You brought it to others Now as long as it wasn't something that's an unjoyful thing You don't want to be that person that goes around killing people That's not joyful in any way It has to be a joy giving type thing If your thing is going around yelling at people And telling them how they're awful That's not good either But if you do something that brings you joy It brings others joy That's a wonderful thing isn't it It's a truth It's an absolute truth It's 159% true And it's it's probably something that I think you could prove to me if you call me 336MM daily. 336MM as in my initials daily. 
as in the show is daily, and that's Mike's Daily Podcast, and we've been broadcasting to you from Cafe Anyway, and somebody is pouring us some root beer right now. Oh, my God. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. It brings me joy. Oh, boy. I'll cut you. See, cutting me does not bring anyone joy. It brings me sadness, so don't cut me. Oh, boy. All right. And that's the show, I guess. There are other things I wanted to get to, but... Hey, I hope to have my lovely lady friend on on a future podcast. Maybe that'll happen soon. And the podcast picture is of an interesting moment with Basil the Boxer. This happened five years ago today. Five years ago today, we were at Half Moon Bay enjoying the weather as it turns and it gets nicer this time of year, although it's still rainy and not so nice. But there we were and a big wave was crashing. We were over at this breakwater area. And he was staring at the breakwater and the and we can't walk that far anymore because of his back legs and because I, my legs. I <laughs> so that was such a long walk. We had to walk all this way on the sand. That's hard work. It brought me joy for a little bit and then I got sick of it. But anyway, so there is a cafe anyway. Wonderful picture for you at mikesdailypodcast dot com. Check it out now. Of a moment five years ago When Basil and I were probably in our better days And having a wonderful time Because it brought us joy And hopefully this show brought you joy Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced And performed by Mike Matthews His podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show And read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com Email Mike now Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Mr. Know-It-All. Ugh.